We used to go out, kill bad guys, boom, 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 no problem. We accidentally kill the wrong person. Oh, shoot, bummer, that stinks. Then we move on. If I keep changing my facial expressions, he won't be able to recognize me in a lineup. Oh yeah, I would have been real guilty. That's because we're born killers. What separates us from other killers is we only kill bad people, usually, unless there's a mistake. Now, do I sound like a fucking maniac? Since then, I've turned my body into an instrument of vengeance. As if I become a racist by osmosis. Even though I mostly kill white people, so. That means they'd have to crawl through poop. Just because they're aliens doesn't make them gross. Bigotry. Now. Oh, puppy. Ah, ah. I can't hear you. This thing's so fucking loud. You don't think it's interesting that a praying mantis thing has a favorite color and it might unexpectedly be teal? I'm just the guy who's gonna fuck you so hard your asshole's gonna be dragging behind you like a tail. I guess this means butterflies can use any life form as a host. Chihuahua? Dude, if someone doesn't have their pinky toe, they fall over. It's the most important toe on the human body. Try introspection on that, motherfucker. Sorry. Motherfucker cut half my pinky toe off. It's the most important toe there is. She's a cock. Listen, uh, I've been meaning to thank you for allowing me to be tortured last night. I told you not to do that. Look, our worst piece paralyzed. Oh, I thought that man and the chimp were friends. I was thinking they were about to go on an adventure together. Well, yeah, your dad left your mom for another dude. Hey. He did? Yeah, and they're deeply in love. Do you have cable? So I don't want to stay here overnight if there's no cable. Fargo's on tonight. It was a rhetorical question. Oh. Okay, well then, I changed my answer to just ignoring the question. Not another word. My bad then, sorry dude. That was a pretty big fuck up on my part. I mean, I didn't care, because I don't have emotions like people do. But the other guys, after Chris came up with a nickname for him, usually based on their penises, they would just walk into the other room and sob, because that will become their name for the rest of their life. Why are you honking? Shut up. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm never ever gonna kill someone with a fucking chainsaw. It's so not fair. Who are you? Do you want to ask stupid questions, or do you want to live? Which one do you want to do? There's no wrong time to rock. Well, I'm not going to kill my dad. Why not? Because I love him. Oh. <laughs> there are gaps in the armor, man. My advice? Cut it out with the introspection. The mind is a den of scorpions better left running from, not towards. My picky toes aren't that important. Yeah, you were being weird about that. Yeah, I was. Sorry. I'm getting this weird feeling that you're angry. Because ah! your blades are dull as fuck, man. Ah! Ugh. Why don't you maintain your torture shit? Hashtag me too. Dude, a butterfly is a type of bird. Butterfly's not a bird, it's a fucking bug. You seem to be walking okay. Well, I'll probably never walk as good again. Well, how else am I gonna experience motherhood? I'll start with this pinky. What? My pinky? Why me again? Vigilante? I, I don't know that person. That's um, is that even a name? I'm, sounds Italian. I'm 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 American, so but I can't even. Shit, Eagle's hardcore, man. You're welcome, Vigilante, for saving my life. Peacemaker is a great guy in almost every way, but. His biggest flaw is that he commonly overestimates Eagley's abilities. Okay, they could. You'll fall over all the time and look stupid, and everyone will laugh at you. <laughs> Don't fuck with my BFF! You're a little intense right now. Like, I don't want to be uncool, but your face looks really weird when it goes into all those various angry positions. Now the Asian cop's goff. Insofar as how much he likes teal, though, we're clueless. Look! Which one's me, and which one's Eagley? I would read anything you wrote, dude. I bet you could do some bomb poetry. Well, that's a little judgmental. I'd make a collage of the three of us fucking some chicks with a bunch of dolphins around us doing beer bongs in a Corvette. Tender, nice touching. Hey. Well, if you're gonna be sarcastic, you should really warn people so there's no confusion. What? For instance, like, I'm about to be sarcastic, okay? Okay. You're not fat at all. See? What? Are you guys serious right now? We just had a really sick time murdering Peacemaker's dad and all these hilarious fart jokes, just like an all-time classic run with my best friend, my second best friend, Eagly, my fifth best friend, Adebayo, and now you guys are ruining it. That dude goes to brony conventions dressed in the back half of Twilight Sparkle with a four-inch wide butthole drilled in the costume. Maybe it's so we can breathe properly. No, no, no. Eagly. No, take Eagly. the helmet. Take the helmet. Eagly, take the helmet. Eagly, take the helmet. 
You have to admit, it was kind of sweet how he wanted that monkey and that man to be friends. There are shitloads of ants. How many fish are there? I don't know, but probably as many as there are ants. <laughs> Not in one place at the same time, dude. I'm fine, seriously. All I need is a good nap. Sarcasm, I haven't noticed you eating way more corn chips than any one human being should eat. And I'm not worried that you're gonna die. But I, I am worried that you're gonna die. Thanks. I gotta go.